Hey guys, just a quick warning. I got skunked on my Cold Steel 8010 I was getting in for comparison with the Benchmade Adamas. The box looked correct, the gloss is in the right spot, logo is correct, colors are correct, everything's correct about the box, but the actual 8010 itself is not. So I've always had good luck with eBay. Most people will not recommend it. I think you can do it just fine if you know what you're looking for. I actually knew what I was looking for and I still had problems. Uh, so I went with an American retailer, over 2,000 sales, 99.1% positivity. Um, it was the kind of person you want to buy from on eBay. His other knives were authentic, but I had some suspicion about the way the images were taken. You couldn't quite see the logo on the back, which is the dead giveaway for the 8010, whether it's a fake or not. And once I got in hand, I knew immediately it was fake. So I just want to show you guys how you can tell. Right here, if we zoom in or focus it here a little bit, I got autofocus on, but we'll see if it'll behave. So you can look at that cold steel logo. It's probably gonna be blurry, but at the bottom of the S in steel, you see that like a little ink booger? It's like a little hanger off, a uh, dual berry, so to speak, dingleberry. That is one of the signs that it's a fake cold steel. There's a smear on the S on the bottom of the steel, and the cold steel in general is not the right thickness, not the right font, and if you can make it out, it's especially tiny, but the S and S35VN is much bigger than everything else. Now, I've been authorized a refund for this. He claims that he bought it authentic and he doesn't know what happened. I'm calling BS on that because he bulk bought them, which means he probably got them from DHgate or Alibaba. He knew these were fake. I've reported it to eBay. Uh, just be careful with these guys. I normally don't get skunked. I'm a very uh, well knowledge person when it comes to knives and buying knives. Uh, and even I still apparently made a mistake. So just be very careful. If you can find good deals, understand eBay does protect you from counterfeits, but you still have to pay return shipping. In this case, he sent me a return label because I think he knows he's in deep shit. Uh, eBay does not tolerate counterfeits at all. It, he can actually lose his entire vendor account. Um, but you got to be very careful still. You're only going to be out the cost of shipping, but it can be a, a really big cost if you're buying these from China. Never buy knives from China, ever. If you're going to buy certain things from China, like a Gonzo or something, use Gearbest. Never buy anything on eBay from China. So with that out of the way, I got skunked, egg on my face. Uh, that sucks. I really wanted a Cold Steel 8010. The only other 8010s I can find are like 200 something bucks, and they are not worth it at that price. Uh, so rip me. Maybe I can borrow one from a friend for a comparison one day. We'll see. I will never buy an 8010 or an 8015 at the current prices. Uh, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Stay safe, stay informed, and I hope you guys look forward to the new series that's coming out on the assessments of risk. Toodles.